Okay. Well, I hope this is fucking working. Um, I am here logged into a Gmail account. Most of you probably have a Gmail account. A lot of you are signed up to email lists um, or have your information out there such that, uh, you know, anyone can email you. Sometimes that can be really annoying. Uh, sometimes people email you scams, sometimes people harass you, um, sometimes you just don't really like what they say. So I'm going to show you how to um, set up a really quick filter in Gmail so that if someone's bothering you um, via email for whatever reason, you don't ever have to see it. Um, if it's like a harassment campaign, I'll show you um, how to keep them, but still not have those um, kind of show up in your inbox. So I have uh, just an email that, um, it came from me, but you can still do this if someone sent you an email. I, I just came up with a fake email because I don't really want to um, like out anyone or, or use anything that is uh, specific. So um, if someone is say trolling you or whatever, or you're on an email list where someone is really hyped about stuff that they do but you aren't and you just don't want to read it here's what you should do so basically you just have to mouse over their email address um, you can add to contacts which is helpful um, and then open detailed view which will come up over here um, and then so you can actually add to contacts down here if if i hadn't already done that i would have done that but um, you can basically, when you're looking at the email, you can show all the details, check it out, blah, 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 get all your info. Um, we can do, this is what you want, filter messages like these. That's going to bring up a pretty detailed way to filter your um, inbox. So if it is, uh, so let's say, uh, what is it? The, yeah, the fart of trolling. So this is why you want to um, add someone's email address to your contacts because it'll autocomplete. So you know if you if you fat finger something or um, uh, just get uh, the spelling wrong or something, this is going to autocomplete for you. And because it came from the actual email, it's going to be the correct one, even though I made up this email address and this is not a real person. So if it's from them, that's it. You can also, um, you know, if uh, certain words or certain concepts are hurtful or triggering or things that you really just don't want in your psyche, you can just go by subject matter, like farts and trolling, um, you know, whatever, or Bruno's, uh, you know, whatever. Um, and then... Basically, you're just going to create a filter from this. This is every email that comes to you is going to be passed through this. And then once you create the filter, you can tell it what to do. So regardless, well, you, like if it's just annoying shit, you can just do like delete it. And then before the email hits your inbox, it just gets deleted. You can also mark it as red so that it'll go to... Um, like it'll go to the trash, but you won't have this like little five number in trash because it, it thinks that you haven't seen the email. You don't want to see the email, so who cares? Mark it as red. Um, what you can also do is um, if someone is harassing you and it might be like legally actionable and you want to maintain um, information about like a stalker or something, what you want to do is skip the inbox, mark it as red, and then choose a label. So I, I created this already. This is abusive bullshit, maybe, maybe illegally actionable. But, you know, you can create whatever label you want. And then that label will show up over here in your folders. So uh, you can also forward it to a different email address so that if you have, like, a true email that you want to keep private, you can take things from a public email address and forward it to a different email address. Like there's, it's, it's a very powerful filtering tool. Um, so 
if someone has been posting things to like an email list that you're part of and you just kind of don't want to deal with it um, and you think that um, it's really annoying to have to like even click on it to delete it, you can just do this like once and then like it'll never actually be a problem. But if you like getting triggered by emails, then that, by all means, you're like, don't do this. Like, if you like being angry at people, then don't do this. So I hope that's helpful. Um, trying to make the internet a better place, as per usual. Um, not everyone wants the internet to be a better place, and uh, that's too bad for them. So I uh, hope you're having a great day. And uh, yeah, it's a short little video, and I hope it's helpful. All right, bye.